everyone. Can you guys hear me? Good. So my name is Elissa and I'm a professional artist. So I do paintings for a living. That's my job. But who doesn't like to paint? Painting's fun. Everyone can do it. And you guys all have probably done a little bit of art at some point. Do you guys like art? Hopefully. <laughs> but today I'm going to talk a little bit about bison and how important bison are to the Native Americans. Um, Native Americans used to, well, and they still do, depict bison in their art. So they paint and draw bison a lot and they carve it into uh, stone and caves. They love bison. And they use the bison for just about everything. They uh, used, they ate them, they used them for food. They would use their hide for clothing and shelter and blankets. And they would use um, their horns to hold things and to make tools. They would use their teeth to make tools and jewelry. So bison were very important to them because Bison kind of helped them make their lives what they were. So I'm going to show you some of my pieces that show bison real quick. I have a couple pieces here. So here's one. It's a bison head. And if you look, you can see that he's not just brown. He has a lot of different colors in him, even some blue in his nose. Lots of different colors. And if you look at this one, you can kind of see the same thing. There's a lot of different light browns and yellows and golds. And then even in the sagebrush grasses at the bottom, there are a lot of different colors too. Yellows, reds, greens. And same with the sky. All different colors. And that's what makes a painting interesting when you do a bunch of different colors and don't stick to just one color. And I have one more thing to show you. It's a bison skull. This is their head. A pretty big head, especially when it's covered in all that hair. But you can see their horns here that the Native Americans use to hold things and to make arrowheads. And the teeth that they use to make tools and jewelry. And you can look, there's a painting that I did on the bison skull, but it's not a bison. So now I'm going to set up my easel real quick in a canvas and we can start painting. So you can see that I used to have a painting on this canvas, but I covered it up and it's called gesso and it makes it so your canvas is like new again. It's kind of like a white paint, but it's a little kind of rough. So you can reuse a canvas to make a new painting. Now I have a palette here and I'm going to put a little paint on my palette. But before I start, I want to let you guys know that this is your painting and you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do what I do. If you want your bison to be like rainbow colors or can have like a pink sky, he can have that. It's all, it's like a, a fairy tale. It's your world and it's your painting and it's no fun if you don't get to do what you want to do and what you think looks cool. So don't be afraid to do different things. So I'm putting some brown paint on my palette here. And then I'm going to do kind of the outline of the, the bison first, just so we know where he's going to be. So first I'm going to start with an oval shape. 
That's going to be his head. And then inside of that, I'm going to draw another circle, and that's going to be his nose. And then on the side, I'm going to kind of draw some little uh, C. It's like a C and a backwards C to show where his eyes are going to be. Maybe I should move this closer so you can see a little better. And then I'm going to show where his horns are going to be. And usually they're right above, so his eyeballs will be right in the middle of these C's here, kind of, like there and there. So his horns are right above his eyes. And they're like a hook kind of shape, kind of like that, like a dog's claw. And then they have some, I'll kind of show you with one of my other bison again real quick. You see they have all this hair right here on top of their heads. It's really long hair. And sometimes I have seen hair on a bison's head that is a single hair, like one little hair that is three feet long. So that's like taller than you guys. <laughs> or as tall as you guys, but it's really long hair. They're really fluffy animals. So we're gonna kind of draw some of that hair on top of the head. And then they have kind of fluffy ears underneath their horns. And then inside their nose here, the big round circle, we draw their actual nose and it's a little smaller and it's shaped kind of like a square. So we draw a little box inside for his nose. And then we're going to do a beard. They have kind of a long beard underneath their chin and it's kind of like a V, v shape or just kind of some long hairs there. Doesn't really matter. It's your bison. You can look however it wants. And then for the body, we're going to start with his big hump. They have a great big hump on their back and it's shaped like a mountain or a hill. So but it kind of has a round top, so it's not too pointy. But a big hump, big shoulders. And they have those big shoulders so that in the winter, in like Yellowstone National Park, where there gets to be a lot of snow, they have big, strong muscles. So they can use their head like a snow plow to push the snow out of the way so they can keep eating grass underneath. And then we're going to show the sides of his shoulder on the sides. Sides of his body, I guess. And then they have a lot of hair on their legs, big, wide, fluffy legs. And then I'm going to show their little, they have hooves underneath all that hair, just like a, like a sheep or a deer. And they have their hooves underneath. And then they have kind of a line that goes up their hump where the fur kind of parts a little bit. So now that I have him kind of sketched in, I'm going to go on to the sky. In your sky, if you want a sunset sky, you can do oranges and pinks and yellows and purples. Or if you want just a blue sky, just do blue. Let's see. I think I'm just going to do a turquoise sky. 
I'm gonna put some turquoise paint. I'm gonna add a little water. I'm gonna paint where I want the sky to be. And usually in a painting you do thirds. So you want your sky to be two thirds, which is more than half of the canvas, or you want it to be a third, which is a little less than half. And so since I'm doing mountains, I'm gonna do it a little less than half. And then we color it kind of all around his body. And if you get into the bison's body with your sky a little bit, it doesn't matter because we're gonna go back over the bison and fill it in with some colors, kind of like a coloring book. So it will cover up anywhere that you might have accidentally mixed some of, like where I got some turquoise inside his body. Now I'm gonna paint some mountains. And mine are going to be dark blue and black. But yours can be kind of whatever color you want. If you want them to be snowy, they can be like light blue and white and purple. They can be green if you want them covered in trees. But mine are going to be kind of a gray blue color. And then you just draw mountains. And your mountains can look however you want them. No two mountains are the same, so don't be afraid. Your mountains are gonna look great. They'll look just how you want them. Okay, so now that I have my mountains kind of colored in, I'm gonna do the grass. But, under the grass or the sage brushes and grasses it's going to be kind of brown so i'm just going to kind of start with some brown And then in the front here is going to be kind of the same in the foreground down here, but because he's not 